or later on your journey out of loneliness towards connection, you need to make a decision about what you want. Do you want to be comfortable or do you want growth? My friend, it can't be both. Let's talk about that. Yuma, and welcome to Connection Espresso. I'm Phil McAuliffe. I'm the loneliness guy, and this is Espresso 25. This is a mini podcast designed to give your mind, your heart, and your soul a quick connection boost as you, a beautiful gay man experiencing loneliness, go about your day. Let's get to it. Hello, welcome to this Connection Espresso. Really um, glad that you're here for it. It's going to be a little bit challenging, and I'm okay with that. Thanks for being here. As with each Connection Espresso, I want to first pay my respects to the elders of the Ngunnawal people, past, present, and emerging, and acknowledge them as the traditional custodians of the land upon which this episode was recorded and uploaded. I want to extend that acknowledgement and welcome to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples listening. Secondly, you're awesome. Be you joining on a podcast or watching on YouTube, you're awesome. And I want to recognise the courage you've shown in pressing play on this episode. Because, well, nobody looks for content on loneliness online unless we recognise that we are feeling lonely. And this is a big step. And I want to say that I see you and I recognise your courage. When you're going to make change in your life happen, you'll soon realise that you have a choice to make. Do I stay comfortable and not change? Or do I get uncomfortable and grow? When it comes to your loneliness, choosing to stay comfortable feeds your loneliness and choosing growth feeds connection. But the thing with loneliness is that the comfort is not very comfortable. It's what I call a miserable comfort. It's shit and it's awful, but it's yours. And it's the only state that you feel that you're worthy of. Just let the gravity of what I just said sit with you for a moment because that is absolutely not true. It is absolutely not true, but your lonely heart and lonely soul can have you wanting to believe that. And choosing comfort seems easier when you are in the midst of a loneliness experience and questioning your worthiness for love and belonging when the alternative is potentially really scary and unknown. Growth sounds painful and uncertain. And it sounds like too much hard work and the risks seem to quickly outweigh the benefits. But my friend, that's your loneliness talking. And it's a siren call that you must ignore. Growth and the connection that comes with it is joyful. It's soul nourishing and frankly, life sustaining. And that's just not me engaging in some hyperbole. Quality connection actually helps you stay alive. This is hard truth time. There's not much that anybody can do to support you out of your loneliness unless you choose. You choose growth and connection over the comfortable misery of your loneliness. No amount of my content will make a difference if all you're doing is being passive. You must make the choice to grow because wanting comfort and growth is not an option. If it was an option, I promise you that I would have found it by now as that was how I wanted to move beyond my loneliness when I first realized that I was experiencing the loneliness. But my friend, I've created the service and the support that I wish that I had when I was miserable and felt overwhelmed by my loneliness. And that service is the Connection Starter Course. And it's the result of years of me working on my loneliness and social connection and 
loneliness and social connection more generally. That course and the connection plan that you get at the end is now a few taps of the screen away from you when you decide that enough is enough and you choose growth. There's a link in the episode description and you simply need to tap your screen a few times. And the rest, well, we can do that together. And I know what it's like to be a gay man experiencing loneliness. And I promise you that the sitting in the comfortable misery is not your lot in life. Engaging with the world as the beautiful gay man you are brings the joy and connection that you've been searching for. And I've been where you are and I can guide you towards the connection and belonging that you've been searching for. So let's get you your connection plan so you can move through life in a more content and joyful way. That's it for this espresso. Be sure to check out all my work and services destigmatizing loneliness and promoting authentic connection for gay men globally for beautiful gay men just like you through my website, thelonelinessguide.com. You can please like, comment, and share this episode so it reaches more gay men experiencing loneliness and lets them know, just as you now know, that they're not alone in experiencing loneliness. And if this episode inspired you, made you think, or otherwise supported you, please tap the link in the show notes to buy me a coffee. Your financial contribution will go directly to growing the loneliness guy and help me reach more gay men. Thank you in advance for your generosity and support. Thank you once more for joining me for this espresso shot. And until next time, choose growth, take care of yourself, yada, and enjoy your day. Thanks, YouTube.